Welcome back to Be Terrific's continuing coverage of CE Week 2016. I'm your host, Jason Aaron. Welcome back. And viewers, grab hold of your seats. This one's going to take a while. And I will tell you why. Usually before an interview, uh, you know, they come in. We'll talk about the product a little bit. But I took one look at your sweatshirt and said, 3doodler.com. And I said, no, we don't have to talk because I remember when you were on Kickstarter, this was one of the most innovative uh, technology pieces that I've ever seen on Kickstarter. And I'm so glad to be able to see it today. Uh, 3D printing has obviously become mega huge yeah. over the last five, seven, eight, ten years. 20 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, to the point, no, seriously, you know, about five, uh, maybe three, four years ago, B&H... Well, you know, the largest retailer here in the city put in an entire 3D printing section. Yeah. But when you think about 3D printing, you usually think about a cube-like apparatus with a tray inside and a moving head that prints not too dissimilar from printers that we've been used to for 30 and 40 years and then can build objects like what you see on this table. However, what you guys have is something completely, completely different. I'll shut up. Tell us about it. Uh, so this is actually, so the Kickstarter was in 2013, and we've come quite far from that. This is now our third generation 3Doodler. Wow. It's called the 3Doodler Create. And, you know, as you were saying, unlike a traditional 3D printer, this is just a pen. So you can physically draw objects in the air, count to three, the plastic will harden, and then go off like that. And it's not just for making, like, fun little squiggles in the air. You can actually make real-world objects. So, for example, this is my actual wallet that I made with it using our flexible material uh, that's over six months old. It's very durable. That's a 30 to 40 minute project and it's just quite a lot of, you know, fun. All right, so you answered a lot of questions there. First of all, it took 30 to 40 minutes to make. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's about five strands of material, so five sticks of plastic. This is literally a wallet. That's literally my wallet. This is also, like, literally my phone case. This is unbelievable. Now, did you make this on the phone? I did not, because you don't want to put a hot metal tip onto your phone and damage your battery. How did you know how big this needed to so be? So I took the phone and I did an outline. I traced it on paper, and then I did the back end of it. Brilliant. And then I attached that back end onto the phone, and then I did the edges actually on the phone. And I wow. put some masking tape on there to, to help it stick, and then you pull it all off, and you pull the masking tape off, and you have a perfectly fitting phone case. So, I mean, first of all, this wallet is... Hilarious and amazing that you. How do you get the metal pieces on? Uh, there's just I went to a leather shop and I bought like leather accoutrement and so there's also a, a a money clip in the center, which I also bought from the leather shop. So they're really just like standard pieces, but those are the only pieces of the entire wallet that weren't doodled. So the rest of that wallet is completely doodle. Now I mean, you know something like this. First of all, this this is great art. I mean, yeah, and that's over two years old now. So, like, that's quite an old... Uh, and it's case. lasted. It's lasted. I mean, it's durable stuff. It is plastic. And then what you see, and I think what people are worried about, I mean, this is a fully formed object. It has a working... Yeah, I mean, check this out. It has working gears. Now, is this piece... So that is the plastic that you actually put into the pen. Just not put just in. Just not put into the pen. It's just been cut and, like, molded into that shape to make it. But nice this handle. is geared... I, I mean, what would it, I, I don't even know what to call this. Uh, I mean, it's a, a crankshaft with, with two pistons attached to it. So it, that's it's essentially sounds, a motor. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. We made a motor out of a pen. We made a motor out of a pen. And then we also have, just we introduced this year, is the 3 Doodler Start, which is our kids' version. So the 3 Doodler Create, which also just came out this year as our latest version, has a very hot metal tip. So you do need to be careful. We recommend 14 Plus for it. Whereas the 3 Doodler Start has a very cold tip. So you can actually draw on your skin if you want. And it still does that 3D in the air, but the real difference is the material is a biodegradable nylon that we created from scratch. Uh, it has FDA food approved subcomponents, so it is safe if you were to digest it. There's no side effects or anything like that. And the material is made in the United Kingdom, the plastic that comes into it because of the quality that we require for something that's in the hands of children. But more importantly, it's, it's cold. It also is biodegradable in a home composting scenario. So you can throw it in dirt. The dirt starts to activate it, eats it away. 45 days later, the material is gone. That's incredible. Now, 
Why not make all of them cold tip? What's the benefit of the hot tip in the so regular version? So the world's full of these common plastics, like ABS, PLA, and those flexies. And part of the advantage is that the materials for the hot plastics are stronger and more durable on some level. And to be quite honest, like when you want to fix something made of plastic, you want to use the same type of plastic. So ABS is the world's most common plastic. You, we, the pen takes ABS. You can then use that ABS on other ABS products. So how do I get the color in the pen? So you just take a strand and you stick it in the back. And then that's that. Done. And you're done. And it loads it in. Same with the other one. We have over 65 colors, too. So we have Which the world's amazing. largest collection of thermoplastics on the planet. I mean, this is literally the Eiffel Tower. And as impressive as this is, what jumps out at me is that this thing is made of about, what, 10 different colors? Yeah. So, and you're able to just build them, one on top of the other on top of the other. Uh, so even easier than that, this is done on a flat piece of paper, and you're just repeating a pattern four times. And then how do you attach it? And then you use the device to attach the pieces together. Just with the heat? Just with the, you can use a bead of plastic, or and it'll stick it together. Do you have like a clear? Yeah, we offer clear materials, we offer <laughs> we offer different colored clear materials too. So we have a translucent line, which is made out of our PLA. We also have flexible clear plastic, so you can make like a clear wallet if you're so desired. So you talk about doing it on paper with the hot tip. Can I draw on a regular yes. standard piece of you paper can, with, with the hot the, tip? With the adult pen, you can use paper, and with the kids pen, you can just use regular paper. We do offer a doodle pad for $9.99. It's like a grid-like pattern. It does make it a little bit easier to draw stuff and then flex it off and it'll stick a little bit better. So if I suck at art, but I think this is so cool. You, and, you and can wanna, do this. And I want to get into this. So you have, do you have patterns yeah, stuff like so that? Yeah, so we have on our website, we have over 250 projects. So this engine and this Eiffel Tower, they're projects. They're PDF files. You go to our website, you download them for free, you print them out, and then you simply doodle on top of the paper peel the pieces off the paper, and then use the pen, whichever pen kids are create, to join those pieces together to make something like an Eiffel Tower, a wallet, uh, an iPhone case, a cookie monster. Remember yeah, I was going to bring up the cookie monster, <laughs> finger puppet. Finger puppet, cookie monster. I mean, monster. That, is, that is definitely the Mo Hero lower level. So we actually bit. made that here at the show. How long, how long does it take to make cookie monster? The cookie monster is like a five minute project. So like the, and to give you an idea, the wallet, like I said, was like 30 to 40 minutes. So you can make really amazing stuff really quickly. This so, Eiffel Tower is a 45-minute project, 10 to 12 strands of plastic. So let's say I'm, I'm making Cookie Monster, and I did the blue. Yeah. And then I want the brown. I mean, how do I get the color that's in there out of there? So you double-click on the pens, and the material, if it hasn't been used up enough, will actually come out the back. So you don't have to waste any. So you don't have to waste any. But if you have used too much material, then you do need to go through, through the rest of the material. So. Wow. All right, so I I'm sure after this interview, our viewers want to know, where do I get it? Where do we get it? How much does it cost? So you can go to our website, the3doodler.com, to purchase it. We offer the kids' pen for $49.99 with two packs of plastic. We offer the 3Doodler Create for $99, also with two packs of plastic. And then our whole plastic range and products and accessories are all on that website. Wow. I gotta get one of the kids ones for my kid. My yeah, kids, kids are, are great. My, I have a six-year-old son that would absolutely like die for this. Um, so we gotta talk. Check them out, the Three Doodler. We'll be back with more live from CE Week 2016 here in New York City at the Metropolitan Pavilion. Come check this product out. There is so much great stuff coming in here today on day two. I'm Jason Aaron. You are the Terrifics. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.